Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out another Clinique product. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Another one of those products that I got in my Clinique Holiday Swag box that I purchased from Sephora. Again, this is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is in the color black. It also comes in black brown and they have a waterproof formula. It is supposed to be, again, really good for sensitive eyes. My eyes aren't particularly sensitive, so I will not be commenting on that. This is made in Canada. That's cool, I had no idea. The full size retails for 24 Canadian dollars, and the brush on here is just a really, really traditional looking Christmas tree type brush, and it's notably quite clean looking. It's unscented, and yeah, it just looks like a super, super <laughs> stereotypical mascara wand. Size-wise, it's kind of a large brush, but not oversized. This is supposed to be a volumizing mascara that lengthens and defines your lashes. Exactly one week ago, I tested out the Clinique eyeliner, and like I said, I've really never explored Clinique makeup before, before I got that holiday box. And since then, I've been really enjoying those products, so let's give this mascara a wear test, see how it does over the next 12 hours. Let me get it on my eyes. My nose is still a little bit, um, <laughs> trapped from being sick. I still blow my nose a lot. Alright, let's take a look. As you can see, it's a really beautiful formula. It's dark, but definitely not the blackest ever. And I would say super lengthening and moderately volumizing. A really nice natural look and really easy to apply and super clump free. So if you like a lot of feathering with not a lot of clumping, I think this would be a good choice. It kind of reminds me of Lash Paradise that we tested out. Again, was it a week or two ago? Let me go ahead and do the other eye. I think this side is even better. <laughs> um, yeah, again, it went on really easy, really nicely. I feel like my lashes look really great and really full and really long. So again, my preferred formula, I like the ones that don't clump up, that really separate and lengthen. I could go for a little bit more darkness and a little bit more volume, but overall, I'm not complaining. I really like this. And... I really like the formula. It's kind of, it's not particularly dry, but if it was on the scale of wet to dry, I would say it's just like ever so slightly on the dry side. And again, no complaints about the wand. It's just really basic, gets the job done nicely. And we'll wear test this guy for the next 12 hours. Let's get started. Okay, I totally forgot to do an initial check-in, but it's not like the color is gonna change or anything, so I'm sure it looks exactly the same. Now, so let's take a look at what my lashes are looking like. All right, here we are at the end of the day. Let's see how we're doing. Overall, they're looking really good. They still have a little bit of like curl to them, I feel like. They're not completely fallen and absolutely no fallout. Again, this eye was a little watery earlier today just from like laying down and no smudging or anything at all has happened. They still look nice and dark. When I put the mascara on this morning, I noted that it didn't look especially dark. But when I did check-ins throughout the day, I was definitely really content with like how dark they looked. And I think they do look nice and deep and black. This eye still looks a little better to me for some reason. But overall, I think it's a fantastic mascara. No irritation or anything to my eyes. Not that my eyes are super sensitive, but the lasting power is really great. I think wearing this in combination with their eyeliner would be a great combo. If you haven't checked my review out on their eyeliner, check it up here. It is pretty pricey, $25, but I think it's a really great mascara. 
So if that is in your price range, I'd say this is definitely one that you should consider. If that sounds really expensive for a mascara, I don't think this is going to blow your mind enough. Like it works well, it's got a great formula, it lasts all day. But if you can find something that does that at the drugstore, there's really no reason to go up to something like that. So I can't say that this has knocked my HG out of number one spot just because it's $10. $25 but like I said in the eyeliner video I really didn't know what to expect or expect such great performance from the Clinique eye makeup products so overall really surprising really happy experience and it's definitely something that if I can get a sample of it again in the future or you know when they have the holiday boxes with the different mascaras this is definitely one that I would be looking forward to receiving again in the future. So I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. Again, half a point off for that cost. Again, price is pretty personal, so whether it's too expensive for you or not, you're gonna have to let me know. But for me, it worked out pretty darn well overall aside from that. Have you guys had any experience with the Clinique eyeliner or the mascara? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you for spending this time with me and watching these videos. Leave me your comments and interacting with me. I really appreciate it. Again, the very best thing you can do to help uh, help my channel out is to share it with anybody who might find this kind of content interesting or helpful. Huge shout out to my patrons for helping bring these video to you guys. If you're interested, you can check the link at the end of the video. Aside from that, everybody, I will see you all tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye.